<sighs> Campfire and rain. I don't know how that combination works too well, but welcome aboard. Of course, just like every single creepy video I make, it has to be raining. It's like Minecraft knows I'm looking at something creepy. There's something scary going on, and Minecraft's just like, you want some rain? You want to set the mood a little bit more? Okay, here's some rain. Have fun. I'm like, no. Rain always is a signal for something creepy, usually, and I don't like where it usually goes. I, I like rain. Personally, I like rain, but I don't like it when I play Minecraft because it's it's terrifying. It's it, usually means something's gonna come after me and I hope that doesn't happen in today's video but welcome aboard to a brand new video a creepy pasta one it's been a couple days since we've been on this and I, I have to say I it's time it's time so hit the like button if you're ready for a scare today we're gonna be looking at a creepy pasta called no sheep no sleep I thought the name was rather attractive in the sense of like it creates a mystery on what does it imply no sheep no sleep I'm not exactly sure, but it's a creepypasta kind of hidden in the depths of the internet, and I happened to come across it, and I was like, well, first time, first serve. It, it, it kind of goes on to the story of saying, if your world does not have normal Minecraft mobs in it, there's a problem. There's a very big problem, one you should be deeply concerned about and be careful. I'm sure we've all sp spawned into a world in Minecraft where we couldn't find pigs, we couldn't find cows, or anything relating sort. Well, maybe that has a lot more of a darker meaning than you ever realized. And that's why no sheep means no sleep. Potentially. Now, mind you, I've not read this. I don't know what we're dealing with here, but I do realize that this is probably an older creepypasta. So this was some of the early days of Minecraft, I would say. And I have my diamond shovel here, feeling really great. What are we going to add to this world here uh, specifically? Because uh, previously we added a dining table, like a little get. I'm actually thinking about making this smaller. I'm not gonna lie, uh, just because I'm. It's a bit too big. It's a bit too chunky, and uh, it could be more like you know maybe just like two of them or something. So we we might actually take some of these off. Um, because I, I think everybody knew I was a little bit unsure about it uh, the last time around. See, now that's a lot better. That's a lot better right there. Um, can I, like, retilt the land? No. Okay, we'll do that. Then we'll kind of give it that little touch. And then that's good. That's good. That's good. We can leave it like that, right? We can even put some walkways there if we want. I don't know. That's a little bit better. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this. Uh, I haven't did any building in Minecraft in so long. And a lot of people that's been on the channel since the earliest days, they know that I used to be a huge builder. I used to build castles. We're talking about gigantic castles uh, that stretch out. It's like it's like Hogwarts multiplied by two. I, I used to just be nuts with it. Uh, adding my own customized castles, building all kinds of extensive stuff. I wish I still had some of these those worlds where I could go back and show you, uh, but sadly, I don't think I do, uh, which is probably one of the more disappointing things. I wish someone had uh, a video or... Uh, or something of my ONG castle that I made. If you're like an old time viewer and you somehow have a screenshot or something of my very old castle I made, please send that to me because I've, I've not seen that in forever and I would love to see it again. Uh, and maybe I can show it to all the other viewers. But um, yeah, so we're working on that. But let's go ahead and not waste any time and get into the creepypasta that we're looking at today. Now, unlike most creepypastas, this one actually has evidence and some photos to go alongside it. So it could get creepy very fast. Let's go in our tent for this one. All right, let's start. Look, if in any case you find a very common mob, pigs, sheep, or, uh, okay, look, look, if in any case you can't find a very common mob, such as pigs, sheep, or cows, quit the game immediately. I don't want the same thing to happen to anyone else. Most of you think that I'm lying, but I am not. I want to raise awareness about it or about him. What I'm about to tell you is my disturbing experience that I hid for a long time. September 18th, 2017 on a Monday. Minecraft version 1.12.2 just came out. No new features, only fixed issues with a new title screen. As usual, I decided to start a new survival world. The first minutes were normal, chopping woods, killing pigs, and mining a 5x3x2 cave where I spent the night. The next day, however, things started to get weird. There was no chickens, not just sheeps. Very weird considering the fact that almost every spot, everywhere in the overworld, I, I, ma I made a cobblestone house. And uh, I decided to call it a day. Okay, so basically, he couldn't find even chickens. And do you see that? There's a traveling worship um, in the rain quit. So, um, okay, so that's already weird, right? Um, okay, so September 19th, he continues playing since he had no school. Next day, I, or no, he does have school. My bad. Uh, next day after school, I noticed a strange man following me as I walked home. Okay, that sounds creepy. Uh, he stopped when I linked up with some other students. He, ha he had black rugged hair, has a height about 1.8... 
and a bit fat. Looks like he's on drugs, maybe. Uh, weird, right? Anyways, I entered my world and realized that I... I have to create a bed. I explored the plain biome near my spawn point, and to my surprise, there's no sheep. I thought that this was a random glitch of the new update. I decided just to expand my house and spend the night mining. I played a few more hours exploring other biomes. I found a desert temple and dug straight down to the secret chest room, and I noticed that there's a stone pressure plate that was gone. Did they remove it? I asked myself. I sighed and looted the chest. There was no diamonds, however, but I found a saddle and a name tag. I, re I returned back to my house and stored all of my loot. I opened my chest and my heart stopped. All of my items are gone. Easily terrified to close the game. Now, a little checkpoint here. As it continues, right? As it definitely continues, uh, proceeding into Wednesday, what do we have to recollect on this? Well, I want to go see hello to the... the, the to Martian? I'll uh, see what he has, just for fun. Um, oh my god, he's got pot. That's really cool. Uh, and some slimes. But, um, alright, so apparently he he had school the next day, the first day that he encountered, right? And on the second day, some weird guy was following him on his way home from school, which is super creepy, actually. That sounds like some stuff outside of Minecraft. Uh, that is not nice. Uh, so... He can't find a sheep. So what happens if you can't find a sheep? You can't make anything to you, you can't make a bed. If you can't find a sheep, then you can't sleep, right? You don't have wool, which is a very very big issue. So now it's Wednesday, September 20th. I didn't even hesitate to open the game. From my experience playing, I, I checked the dot Minecraft file to investigate. I looked at some files and found several notepad files. One caught my attention. A file named Breach. I opened it and saw a text that looks like it's in Morse code. I opened a Morse decoder site and the decoded text made me f froze harder than ice. I can see you, it says. My hands started shaking. I'm a chicken hearted person and the things like this <laughs> make my heart stop beating for a few seconds. I screenshotted all the evidence. So if I'm editing this uh, future self, please add the evidence that he provided here. If not, then I assure you it says translated from Morse code. It says, I can see you, which is super creepy, right? Uh, so apparently someone's watching him. Okay. December 23rd, Saturday. I decided to play the game with a friend since I was a little creeped out about the other day. We joined the world and spawned 5,000 blocks away from the original spawn. I wasn't shocked, though. I knew something was wrong. I retained my inventory, which has a compass, and I attempted to find our way back. Another strange thing occurred. The compass suddenly pointed behind us. It led to a summit of extreme hills. I pointed behind us, indicating that we're on the spot, and pointed again, this time to a lone tree below us. Then, what happened next made my heart stop. There was a man with oak with an oak tree camel skin that was looking directly at us. My friend disconnected, and so did I. So, what this is implying is, he had... Okay, so this story seems a little bit weird, right? But what we can take from this is a very creepy, creepy... Uh, uh, this could happen to any of us, okay? So, like, if we can't find sheep, we're not going to be able to make a bed. And then we have to go through the first night in Minecraft alone, scared, desolate, and confused. Imagine this. Like, this is going to change the way that I play Minecraft going into the future. Because, like, if I can't find a bed, or I can't find sheep to get wool to make a bed, I'm going to be terrified. I'm going to be concerned. I'm going to be, like... I don't know what to do. Like, what if something weird happens to me, right? What if something weird occurs? It's it's super weird. It's super weird. I don't know what to make of it. All I know is I hope that I can always find sheep on my first night in Minecraft. Have you ever had this issue? Did anything weird ever happen to you? Let me know in the comment section below. Creepypasta, not really derived from any selective worlds, but just the scare of not being able to find sheep in Minecraft. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button. We have videos all the time uploaded. We do it nonstop, and I will see you all in the next one. Wait, is there more to the story that I did not read? No, 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 no. Okay, so they disconnected and that was it. Okay, and I'm reading uh, some of the comments actually, and people are saying that they also joined a server with like no mob spawning, and they're they're concerned if like this weird entity that's going to be disguised and like as like a tree, because mind you guys, like the entity looks like that of a tree. I don't know why I'm still talking about that. I literally ended. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just I'm, I'm like into this. Okay, I'll see. You.